Welcome to my new YouTube channel, The Accumulation Zone. The YouTube channel where you're going to learn everything about trading. To save your time and hopefully money, I'm going to test different strategies I find on YouTube by coding them in TradingView to debunk the bad ones and figure out the good ones that have actual potential of making you profit. But let's start with the first strategy. Number one on the... Hello and welcome back to my second video. Today I'm gonna test TraderQ's number one trading strategy on his channel. He's claiming a 77% win rate and a 225% growth by risking 2% of the account. Let's quickly check out the YouTube video. So he claims that it is the best day trading strategy. And now we'll see. For the strategy, we are going to need the volatility oscillator with a length of 100. We are going to need a 50 EMA and a second EMA with the length of 200 and the trend meter. The only settings we have to modify here according to Trade IQ is to turn off signals one here in the style section. And that's about it. Let's head over to some long and short examples quickly. Guys, we are back in trading view. Let's have a look at a short example. The rules, the entry criteria for a short position are we have to see a bearish cross of the 200 EMA and the 50 EMA. We want to see a red dot being printed on the trend meter and all indicators have to align, all the colors have to align here. And we want to see a spike out of the volatility oscillator. All right, everything's matching up and we are going to enter a short position with our stop loss, I guess here. If you consider that the last swing high, probably, and we take profit right on this candle. That's short example number one. If you want to see more examples or get a more in-depth review or explanation, please just watch his video of it. I'm just here to code it and see how well it performs. All right, here we've got a second valid short entry. We peeked out to the downside out of the volatility index uh, oscillator. And we had a red dot printed right here at the close of this candle. This time we're gonna use this as our swing high. And we see the traders hitting stop loss very quickly. For long positions, it's basically the total opposite. Let's see if I can find a quick one. We want to see a volatility oscillator breaking out of the, out of the channel here. We want to see a green dot appear with all indicators down here matching up with the green color. All right, so that's a valid long position. We are placing the stop loss at the last swing low. Let's be fair, let's do this one. And let's wait for the first red dot that appears while we are in profit. And that's already it. We are going to close this trade right on this candle close here for a 0.14 risk to reward. Lucky we've closed it here, otherwise we would have been very likely being stopped out. All right, so I think those are enough examples. Let's get down to some coding. guys I finished coding the strategy and let's see the results how it performed I'm also testing it on GBP JPY on a 15 minute shot exactly like he's doing it in his video and let's see how my script is placing the orders all right so we see the previous trades we tested or I showed as an example were executed perfectly we entered the short position right here on this candle close and we close the short position right here on that first green dot so everything's working we actually enter a second short position right here 
because we also crossed out of the volatility oscillator bands and we close the position right here on this candle close. So very, 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 very small amount of profit for 0 0.1 risk reward, which would basically be a losing trade with spread and everything. All right, and here we have the other example executing it perfectly let's look for the long example i drew up yeah it also executed it perfectly it entered right here on this candle close and closed the trade here for a 0.14 risk to reward ratio on that first red dot that appeared so most likely that would have been a losing trade as well <clears throat> if you consider in spread and not the perfect execution you're always dreaming about so yeah let's actually look at the strategy tester results so yeah just to prove that i'm using the right settings we are choosing that the emas are in order our stop loss option is the low or high of the last five candles we are using no risk reward i just set that to a high amount so it's using the exit condition and we're using a 50 and a 200 EMA. Those are all the trend meter settings. We are disabling wave trend filtered right here. And the volatility oscillator is at the length of 100. We are having a initial capital of $1,000 and we are risking 2% of our equity on every order. <clears throat> and those are the results. So we've got a 60% win rate over 288 trades and a 1.236 profit factor. If we have a look at the list of the trades, the first trade it took beginning of August on the 15 minute chart, beginning of August last year. So it took almost, it took more than a year to close 288 trades with a 60% win rate. But that 60% win rate includes small trades, which would probably have ended up as losing trades with spread and a little bit of bad luck. So don't think it's the most profitable strategy just because it's got a 60% win rate. All you're basically looking for is to capture that one big move that's happening every every now and then so i wouldn't really rely on it performance summary what data could we get out of here we have a buy and hold return of 5.32 percent so sortino ratio and sharp ratio are both in the negative we have in total 174 winning trades and 112 losing trades our largest winning trade here in that scenario was 23 cents and our largest losing trade was 15 cents. We can actually show a little bit of more data since I have access to the deep history feature from TradingView. Let's generate the report from 2020. Let's do two years back testing. We closed a total of 712 trades. The strategy is still profitable with a 58% win rate. And the max drawdown in comparison to the net profit is roughly four times the amount in profit compared to the drawdown. Let's go further back. Let's go back to April, April 2019. Generate the report. still profitable now we close 1000 trades it stays the same i can't say it's not a profitable strategy but to manually trade it with such tiny winners most of the times it could be hard and especially if you count in spread and maybe not the best execution every time and a few mistakes and whatever you wouldn't get an equity curve like this and I know a lot of you guys are interested in how it performs on a five minute chart. On a five minute chart with the same settings, 
it's not working out at all. You can look at the one minute chart as well. It's not working out either. Let's have a look at the daily chart. The daily chart looks pretty fair. Only 87 trades, but uh, that's not really worth it. We can also test it on, for example, a Bitcoin 15 minute chart and the results are terrible. We still have a good win rate that that's, that's only because of those very, very, very small risk to reward ratio. Wins, they count as profits. Euro, US dollar, looking pretty good, but still not the best day trading strategy I've ever seen. GBP, USD, same story. And let's have a look at and let's have a look at gold. All right, we have to change some settings here, and we are going to buy one contract every time. Same story here. Look at the max drawdown in relation to the net profit. And let's do US 100 for the last. US 100 doesn't look too shabby if we always trade one contract, so we always enter in with depending on your uh, contract size with your broker, 0.1 lots or one lot. It's actually not performing too bad over that period of time. Since July, 2021. And yeah, so that's a strategy. I have a look at the what trade iq is claiming trade iq is claiming a 225 percent gain on account obviously because he's risking two percent every with every trade and i can't do that with trading view unfortunately as properly but we are getting nowhere near the 77 percent win rate and that's just 100 trades that's a very very tiny amount to back test with in my opinion especially if you have the power of coding and you can back test a few hundred trades within seconds so i wouldn't recommend using this strategy for any beginners especially if you swap to other currency pairs or indices or cryptos it doesn't turn out to be profitable at all and you're just gonna get stuck with those tiny 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 winners what could end up as losers if you regard your spread and your commissions and stuff. So no, this can't be the best day trading strategy ever. And you also have to think if someone's uploading a strategy video every day about finding the best strategy, the best secret indicator, it can't be right. Just think with a little like common sense and yeah that is the end of this video if you want to download my indicator here just check it out in the description box below and feel free to play around with it and yeah i see you guys next time in my next strategy debunking video Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you want to see more content like this. Cheers guys, I'll see you next time.